bounds. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is DJ Andy of Direct Disco Services. There behind me are the frames of my facade. I've decided to do the refurbishment. What I did yesterday was strip them all back and remove the panels. If you look on the ground there, you can see the panels with the holes in uh, that I had before. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is paint them. This time, rather than cover them with the uh, felt, acoustic felt that I had before. What I'm using is blackboard paint. Which is this stuff here. Um, <clears throat> which will make them more durable and uh, easier to use, I think. Um, so these might just be temporary, I might make some more frames later on this year or next year sometime, I'm just going to make them last a little bit longer, um, but they should look alright. Now what I've also got, <coughs> there you see that white sheet there, that's a piece of polycarb roof sheeting, it's fairly cheap so we're going to use that as the inserts and uh, when there's a light behind that it should shine through. Um, I'm going to do some sort of design on the front as well. Uh, which would be uh, a lot cheaper than buying the screens itself so check out this video we're going to do a bit of time lapse as well so check out this video don't forget to like and subscribe This is the polycarb sheeting. I need to stop biting my nails here. And this is a marking out tool, which is basically a ruler with slide attachments on. What we're going to do is use circles and create what's called a vortex design on the front. Now, the front of this is protective sheeting. I'm going to leave that on and I'm going to draw the circles out on the polycarb with a marker pen and using this. Now there's little holes in the sliders on here so we're going to use them to put the pen in and draw the circles. You'll see what I mean in a minute. But first we need to find the centre of the polycarb and then we'll get the circles marked out. What I'm actually doing there is marking out two inch circles of a, a width of two inch on the, the guide and then I'm scribbling in the bits that I need to cut out as well so I know where I'm working from.
you can see sharp Stanley knife and we cut round the circles very delicately and then we peel off the uh, protective sheet ready for spraying. So there you go, there's the finished project of the facade and as you can see that design that I've made. Obviously I did that, a lot of that in time lots video, I didn't stop to talk and tell you what I was doing, you could clearly see what I was doing. Always use a sharp knife when you're using and be careful with your fingers and everything obviously, the safety aspect of cutting yourself. Um, don't press on too hard into the, the polycarb or whatever material you're using, you don't want to break it. Um, however, this polycarb is quite strong. It is a roofing material. It is designed to take the weight of snow and, and rain and the elements and everything. So these panels are quite solid, like I said, but I did leave the protective film on to the very end until I got everything right and where it was. But as you can see, <coughs> by that pattern there, that is just simply black matte spray. Once there's a light behind that, it will shine through it and make uh, an effect. Uh, one thing you could do with that is just spray the back of it so that you've got a bit of a diffuser. What I'm going to do is see how it goes at a gig. So you will see a video with this facade in the next gig log, uh, which should be this weekend. But depending on when you're watching this, just check any of the videos that come on after this one and you will see this facade in operation. Just to give you a quick run through how it goes together, these are what's called drop and pin hinges. Um, in a previous video I showed you how I made these frames uh, and I do have some plans somewhere about making them. A few people did ask me for them. So all you simply do is drop the panels 
into each other when you're putting it together on a night just to show you briefly so all they do is lift up as you can see the pins are coming apart from the hinges so when that comes out like so you can move that back like that and all then you do is simply line them up just so you know that um, one of the hinges is slightly higher than the other on the bottom one and the top one is about where it should be lined up this is so when you're putting them together the, the top one goes in first and then you can get the bottom one in last and drop it down it makes it easier to line it up when you're putting it together all this folds flat then and then you can put it in your car or whatever you're using to transport your gear there we go, that's the facade behind me and I hope you enjoyed this video and how I made it. Most of it was in time wax like I said before. Um, so if you have any questions don't forget to comment below or check me out on social media. You should be able to get me on any of those mediums if you have them. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter for, for example. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos and check out the latest gig log with this facade in action. Thanks for watching and checking with you guys later. Bounds.